Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on uh, points, lines, rays, angles, circles, segments, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I had fun building this lesson. So here, let's go ahead and draw a, a point and label it X. So there is point X right there, okay? I'm going to go through lots of letters here. Here's section B. Use the same, using the same figure, draw a second point uh, and label that Y. So there's Y over there, okay? So there's two points, and we always label points with capital letters, by the way. Okay, we're doing this geometry unit. Now we're going to connect the two points. It's going to make segment XY, and segment XY is written like this. This right here says segment XY. So when we connect them, there it is, segment XY. All right, if you see uh, XY with nothing written on top of it, um, then it says it's the length. It says you're talking about the actual length of XY or the measurement of XY. So this says segment XY. This says the length of XY or the measure of XY. Okay. All right. So here's that figure right there. Okay. So extend the segment beyond point X forever. Okay. Now forever means that arrow right there. So that arrow means it's going on forever. Okay. So the arrow... I'm sorry, so now this is called ray yx because it starts at y and it goes through x and past x forever. That arrow means forever. So it's called ray yx, and, and your book always says it has an endpoint y. To me, it's the starting point, okay? Uh, but your books, all textbooks say uh, endpoint. Rays have endpoints, which are actually their starting points, you guys. So it starts here, goes in the direction of x forever through x and past it. So this is ray yx okay and if you say ray yx uh, then you put a little um, uh, ray on top of it okay so um, uh, and it's written like this so there's a little ray symbol that goes right on top right there okay this says ray yx and notice there's no arrow on top of y that means this it starts on y and goes in the direction of x through x and forever and ever and ever so that's how you write ray uh, yx okay all right, so now let's construct ray xy, and it would be written like this, xy, and this means it starts at x and goes in the direction of y through y forever and ever and ever, okay? So I'm just going to extend it this way right there. So there's ray xy. If I said look at ray xy, we'd start right here, the starting point, but your book will say end point. It says the starting point x and it goes in the direction of y through y forever and ever and ever. Okay, now this is created line xy, and we represent line xy with arrows on both sides. Okay, so this, this says line xy, this says ray xy, this says ray yx right here. And if you don't have arrows on top, then it would be the segment. And if there's nothing on top, it's called the measurement. Okay? All right, so let's draw two rays that connect at the same endpoint. Okay, so here's two rays that connect at the same endpoint. It's actually the same beginning point. Here's ray BA and ray BC. Now, when that happens, you guys, and what we created is an angle. And we can call this angle ABC. Okay? So it's written, and your angle is written with a little angle symbol right there. Okay? Angle ABC. Okay? All right. We can also call it angle CBA as long as you keep B in the middle. And B is called the vertex of this angle. Okay? So we typically call angles using three letters. And your vertex is always the middle letter right there. Now, since there's only one angle in this figure right here, we can also call it angle B right here. But a lot of times there's going to be like another ray going right here. And say I had a ray BD going right here. I could no longer call it angle B anymore because there would be three angles in there. There would be the top one, the bottom one, and the original big one right here. So if there's more than one angle, you can't call it by one letter. But here we can call it angle B right here. Okay. All right. So here Here's this figure, this line right here. Okay. Now what I've done is I've created this point right here, angle or, or vertex Z. Okay. And angle XZY. Okay. Angle XZY is called a straight angle because it makes a straight line. Straight angles are 180 degrees. Okay. So it makes a straight line right there. Okay. Um, all right, so let's draw a point C, and then we'll draw 15 points that are one inch away from point C. Okay, so here's point C right there, okay? And let's just say that's one inch right there, okay? And so if we, if we had a ruler in our hand that had an inch, and then draw 14 more points that are one inch away from point C. It has to be one inch away, okay? So here's another one right there. Okay, so there's two. There's three. I went down there. That's one inch down there. There's four. There's five. There's six, seven eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so what's that making right there? What's that shape look like right there? It looks like a darn circle to me, okay? A circle uh, is all points that are equidistant from a fixed point. Here, all these 15 points were the same distance away. We had it one inch away from this fixed point right here. This fixed point is called the center right there, okay? So that's how you make circles. They're equidistant. All the points, there's infinitely many points. I can put another one there, another one there, another one there, and I can just keep putting them infinitely and squeezing them in there, and it would make up this circle right here, okay? That's how we create circles, okay? Circles are 360 degrees, okay? This little uh, zero power right here means 360 degrees. It's a degree symbol right there. All right, so now let's draw a line, and then we're going to draw uh, an intersecting line that forms a 90-degree angle. Okay, so here's a line right here. Here's another line right there that makes a 90-degree angle. 90-degree angle is like your floor in your classroom and your, and your wall, okay? Or two walls where they intersect are, two, are usually a 90-degree angle, okay? And how we represent a 90-degree angle is with that little red box in the middle right there. That little red box is, is a symbol that signifies a 90-degree angle right there. And since they form a 90-degree angle, they're called perpendicular lines, you guys. And perpendicular, the symbol for perpendicular is this upside-down capital T. Okay? All right, so now let's draw another line, and then we'll draw three points on the same side of the line that's one inch away. Okay? So there's uh, uh, one line, and there's three points that are the same side. Okay? Now we're going to connect these three dots right here. Okay? So look at that right there. What do those lines look like? Well, they look like that they're parallel. These lines are called parallel, and parallel is written as kind of like a, a sideways 11. Okay, so that's how you write parallel, and upside down capital T is how you write perpendicular right there. Okay, parallel lines have points that are equidistant from each other on all sides right there. Okay, all right, now you probably have a worksheet that's going to be similar to this lesson in class, you guys. Okay, and take care. Hope this made sense.